Welcome to the journey. The singularly most powerful faculty we have is the ability to use words, to speak. The words we use create and shape our world. They shape our lives. They give meaning. They have the power to create a lasting memory. Our words can hurt or they can heal. They can break down and they can build up. They can encourage or they can discourage. They can offer hope or lead to despair. Once words are said, they can only be forgiven and never forgotten. Gary Chapman, in his book, Love as a Way of Life, uses this vivid metaphor for words. He says words can be either bullets or seeds. When we feel challenged, when we feel anxious or are afraid, we can so easily use words as bullets. We can lash out, we can hurt, we can wound. On the other hand, we can use our words to sow the seeds of comfort, of friendship, of love, of affirmation. Words can change someone's day for the better. In some cases, words have changed people's lives. Saint Teresa of Calcutta reminds us, kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. I love that sentiment. In these days of lockdown, our words are perhaps the most important gift that we can offer others. In these unsure and rapidly changing times, many of us want to hear words of assurance. We want to hear words of affirmation. We want to hear words of wisdom, words of love. We want to hear words of comfort. Words have a powerful impact on our ability to hold steady when the emotional ship seems to be tossing and tipping on the waves of life. Words are a beautiful power and each of us possesses the ability to use them. And what we want to hear, we are also invited to speak to others, to offer to others at this time. You know, the American Islamic scholar Hamza Yusuf says that we should never diminish the power of words because words move hearts and hearts move limbs. To paraphrase this, it might be words have the ability to give life. Jesus, the Word of God, used words to forgive and used words to heal, to affirm, to comfort, to challenge and to offer other people another way, a happier way, a way that would bring them to the fullness of life. And in this Holy Week, we recall his comforting words to his disciples in John's Gospel, where he says to them, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me still, because I'm going to prepare a place for you. Today we want to pause and ask what powerful words have been spoken to us, maybe in the last 24 hours. What words have sustained us, brought us comfort and affirmation? And you may want to also ask yourself, what words are you desiring at this moment to hear? And then, knowing the power that is within you, who and what words should you be speaking to another at this time? What words of affirmation, what words of love, of comfort, of assurance? Don't wait until tomorrow. You know, the great writer John Keating says, no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas 
can change the world. And so today, whose world can you change by simply offering them a word or two? And so friends, this also brings us to the end of the journey for this week. And we invite you to visit our website for audio reflections for tomorrow, Good Friday, for Holy Saturday, and also for Easter Sunday. The first reflection will go up at 5 p.m. this afternoon. All the information is on our website. We're also broadcasting the Tridium services on our website. And so we'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very holy and blessed and beautiful Easter Tridium.